Go. Welcome to Code Corner with Katie. Let's kick it. Let's see what's on thinking man's mind today. How is the positive pressure fire door test different from neutral pressure and which is required? That's a great question and one I get all the time. Come on in and let's check it out. The fire door test on the left is the neutral pressure test. And that's what the United States used for years for testing their fire door assemblies. Within the first five minutes of the gas being turned on in the controlled chamber, the hot smoking gases rise and they're ventilated out the top like a chimney. And that effectively puts the neutral pressure plane at the top of the door assembly. This is the UL-10B neutral pressure fire door test. So it would pull and suck the cool air in from outside of the chamber under the bottom of the door and at the top of the door. And so that's not really real life. And they wanted to change the fire door test. This happened in about the year 2000 when the legacy codes were changing to the International Building Code. And UL-10C, the positive pressure fire door test, came into the United States right around that 1997 to 2000 range and started to be adopted as part of the codes. The positive pressure fire door test, same thing, the gas is on, and in the first five minutes, the temperature in the chamber rises to 1,000 degrees. But now, instead of ventilating the, the hot smoke and the gases out the top like a chimney, it forces the neutral pressure plane to 40 inches above the sill, which is the line of thermal discontinuity. If you ever walk or look at a building after it's burned, the lower 40 inches of your walls and your floors are virtually untouched by the fire and the smoke but the upper portion is all black and spackled. And that's because that lower 40 inches is relatively clean from the hot smoke and gases. So the positive pressure fire door test pulls the cool air in from underneath the door, but now because of the neutral pressure plane being at 40 inches above the sill, any hot smoke or gases or even potentially flame can be forced out through the top portion of the door. And that's why intumescent gasketing is required to pass the positive pressure fire door test for wood doors. Metal doors don't need it because they expand when they heat. Where is it required? The 2018 and other editions, similar editions of the IBC, the International Building Code, tell us that fire door assemblies that are side hinged and pivoted swinging doors shall be tested in accordance with NFPA 252 or UL-10C. And UL-10C is positive pressure. The part in blue, after five minutes into the NFPA 252 test, the neutral pressure level in the furnace shall be established at 40 inches or less above the sill. This is because the NFPA 252 test could be either neutral or positive pressure. The architect would have to specify and you would look in your wood and metal door specifications just to confirm that yes, it should be UL-10C. For more information and continuing education opportunities, please visit Osablo Academy by clicking in the link in the comments below. Please click like and subscribe to this channel. You can connect with me on LinkedIn for updates, or you can email me if you have any code questions at katherine.flower at asaavloy.com. Thanks for joining me in the Code Corner today. My name is Katie Flower, and my goal is to help you achieve safe security in the built environment.